Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com, and in this video, we're working with our Live Visualizer module. So let's get started. Live Visualizer is a structured content editing or an app builder for DNN platform. Now, we've we've have we've covered in several different videos that you could create your own content structures. You can add content to Live Visualizer and display that content through a visualizer. Now, you could actually break out from the content library and actually uh, hop into an external uh, database uh, or or go into a uh, DNN table, get data and display that into Visualizer. So in this video, we'll be looking at how we can leverage a SQL query to pull in our custom data and show that into a Visualizer. So let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and click New Visualizer. And what I'm gonna do today is basically show a list of uh, all different pages that I have within this DNN site. So I'm just going to call it DNN pages. Um, we're going to go ahead and change our data source from our structured data or structured content to SQL query. And we're going to click on configure data source. All right. So now we can choose a connection string. And this is by default a site SQL server. But if you have any other connection strings defined in your web.config, they'll appear here. So we're now targeting our DNN database. I'm going to write a simple query here, select all from tabs. What this does is brings us the list uh, from the tabs table. And I'm going to simply go ahead and hit update. And for our template, I'm going to go ahead and click auto generate. And what this does, it actually uh, kind of goes through your uh, SQL query, figures out what columns it would return and automatically generate a table. In our case, if you can see, it figured out that there's all these different columns in that table and it automatically generated a template for me. You're more than welcome to edit this. There is a separate video that you can refer to, to on how to customize templates. For our purposes, I'm going to leave it the way it is. Just hit update and go ahead and apply this uh, visualizer. And let's see, there we go. I have a table with a tab ID, the order, the portal ID, the tab name, and whole nine yards. I got all the, all the columns and all the data already out for all the tabs. So that was super easy. Let's go back in and let's look at some of the other options we have. Now, one of the super easy uh, option is um, caching. You really don't want to hit your SQL server over and over and again every time a page is loaded. So you can hit cache the results and you can uh, specify an expiration for that cache. So uh, in this case, we will only go out and grab the tabs every 10 minutes. Uh, so this way you can boost your performance. So that's a pretty easy uh, way out. All right, let's 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 see another feature. Let's call use pagination. Now, what if you had millions and millions of records? Obviously, you just don't want to pull all those records because that's going to basically bring the site to a halt. So what we have to do is we have to write paginated SQL Server queries, and there's a support for that built in. So I'm going to say use pagination. And now I'm going to basically change my query. I have it kind of written down here, so I'm going to copy and paste. I'm now saying select all. I'm doing a row number over the tab ID from tabs. I'm saying where the row numbers between the start record and the end record. And you have these two as your option. Now you could write your query the way you like. If you want to use a page size and a page number, then you can use that as well. Or there's a start record and end record that you could use. So either way, these options will allow you to write a pagination query. We also need to know the total count in the query. So we need to give that as well. And for that, I can just simply say, get me an account from tabs. So let's go ahead and hit update and go back here and let's take a look. So now what you see is I got two different pages. So we're not bringing the entire data every time. We're just bringing, uh, I think the page, uh, page size here is maybe 15 or something set here. So we're bringing only that amount of data in. And when I click on the next, a new query gets executed in the background, new data is pulled in, all without a page refresh, all done through Ajax. And now I got a, a SQL query paginated, executed, and I have the ability to display the data using the editor in any shape and form I like. All right, let's go back in here and see what else we could do. This is all great, but uh, just to kind of simplify this, I'm going to go back to no and then just, just go back to simple select all from tabs. But let's say I, I want to make a report builder. Uh, somebody wants to come in and do a report. Maybe they have to input some of the parameters. And based on that, I have to execute a query. Well, no problem. You got parameters built in right here. You could build your forms the way you like it with live forms. 
get all the input you want and use it any way you like in the query. So for my case, let's say I just want a text box and I want to say um, page starts with. Simple enough. All right, let's go back here. And now I see that token is now available. So I could say select all from tabs where tab name like that, bring that in, close it, make sure we don't have an extra space there. That's it. I'm going to hit update, update again. I'm going to go out back here. And now I get this filter on the top. And I could say I want all the pages or tab names that starts with HO. Let's do a submit. And I don't see anything, so let's take a look. Okay, so let's let's see what I did wrong. Let's go back in here and look. Oh, all right. Obviously, starts with so needed to have the wild card on the other end. That explains it. Let's go back and give this a try. And let's again look for all the pages starts with HO. And there we go. We see the host page and the home page. So super easy. I mean, you can have multiple uh, filters here, a bunch of different parameters, then hit the submit button, run your SQL query, basically a quick report builder and show them. You can even show fancy charts, uh, pie, pies, anything you want because you have full control over the template. You can decide what exactly goes on into the template. You can link style sheets, you can execute scripts. So you have full control. That's it for this short video. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to open a support ticket and we'll be happy to assist.